M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one showing you the ATU100 tuner with auto tuner with the ICOM IC7000. So we're on 40 meters here. We've got it on FM mode and I'll just make sure that there's no activity there. Transmit power, we've only set it to 10 watts. So push the, the quick button here, push quick here. You've got some options, mic gains, 50%, and uh, transmit bandwidth, ETC. And we're gonna go up to power, and just start off just testing at 10 watts. So the tuner, I'll just show you the tuner. It's just connected with a patch lead. There's a built-in battery. You charge this up. The modern ones come with a USB-C charger. This is micro. It just works great. Even though it's budget, they're about 70 pound, it just works great. I'll just show you the connection from behind. Show you that's how it's connected there. Okay, straightforward. Patch lead to the radio and then your antenna in the trans in the antenna connector. Nice and simple. So right, let's uh, let's get some get the tuner working. So we're just gonna get it into FM mode and key up here, 10 watts. And you'll see, look at the display here, it says 7.4 watts, SWR 1.05. And I've programmed this so you don't have to push the button. Normally you would push the button, for, it would reset, then you would push for tune. Okay, now the way I've changed it so that it will program on the, just using the PTT, is you go in with a picket, picket programmer and you change some of the hex programming parameters it's just changing numbers. Now to do that, you do have to tap into the radio. It can be done. I've made a clear video showing how to do it. It's a bit fiddly, but very doable. Do, very doable. So anyway, let's just uh, try a different band. We'll, we'll increase the power a bit to about 40 watts. Push this here quick. We'll stay where we are. Um, that's the mic gain, sorry. RF power, let's go to 40%. And then we'll just watch what happens on the, all the information's here. Now there's a newer version of this, which gives a nice big, bigger screen with a graph and everything, which I have got, which I'll be testing soon. But anyway, ATU 100, the older version. Let's key up, FM, look, 34, 55 watts, 1.23 SWR, not bad. Uh, not amazing, but not bad. It's only a long wire, nine to one ballon. Let's go, let's really push it, go down to 80 meters. I'm just going to check that no one's there. Got some good activity there. Okay, I'm get it into FM. hold it down to get it into FM if it's in AM. Right, okay, let's try again. M0 FXB, M0 FXB test. You can see it's 34 watts. M0 FXB, not a great SWR, but I wouldn't expect it to be on that antenna. But there, just under two, M0 FXB. Let's go up 20 meters, same power. I'll just check no one is there. Oh, it's gone into scope mode. Oh, look, you've got an SWR meter here as well. All right, let's go to FM. M0 FXB test. You can hear it tuning there. Mic 0, Fox X3, Bravo test. You can see the SWR meter here, the out ETC. Mic 0, Fox X3, Bravo. So it does work. It's not brilliant. I've known better SWRs. I need to ground the antenna a bit better anyway and raise it up. It's a bit near the ground, a bit near my all the trees out there. Uh, but just to show you that the ATU100 does work. No, it's not a 200 pound tuner. It's a 70 pound tuner, so bear that in mind. But it does have a built-in battery. It's very portable. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. Please like and subscribe. 7-3, all the best.